Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to map your network drive on dev mode from your Xbox to a MacBook. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I'm going to be doing for today's video is of course be coming to the web URL for Xbox device portal. Of course, this can be found on the dashboard of your dev mode on your Xbox. Once you've located to here, we're going to be coming to our menu bar on the left. We're going to be clicking on file explorer and here we're going to be brought to the file explorer path from this point we're going to be coming to the top right we're going to be clicking on the browse button and we're going to be opening up this pop-up the same as we did on the windows version from this point we're going to be opening up our finder we can do this by coming to the top right we're going to be clicking on our search and we're simply going to be searching for finder we're going to be looking for our finder right here we're going to be opening this up and here we can open up any location on our finder we want i'm just on the airdrop at the moment but you can be anywhere you want from this point, we're going to be coming to the top left. We're going to be clicking on the go option. And here we're going to be looking for the very bottom option right here, connect to server. Otherwise, command and K is a shortcut. Here we're then going to be entering our server address. So what we're going to be doing from this point is we're going to be going back to our web page. We're going to be copying the URL that shows up right here. I'm simply going to be right clicking and copy. And then I'm going to be coming back to my finder window and I'm going to be pasting this URL here, but I'm going to be making a couple changes. I'm going to be coming to the very beginning. And what I'm going to be adding here is SMB. I'm going to be adding a colon. I'm then going to be changing my backslashes to front slashes, just like this. I'll also be leaving this copied in the description down below. I'm then going to be clicking connect. It will then give this prompt here to say we're going to be connecting to the server. We need to click connect again. And here's where we're going to have to enter our username and password. Again, we're going to have to come back to our web page and we're going to be copying our username and we're going to be pasting it in here. If you would like to have these credentials remembered, we simply click remember here. We then click connect and then we should be connected. From this point, if we come back to our finder on the bottom left right here, we should see a new location has been added here. We can see it's right here. And now if we click in here, we have actually connected remotely to our Xbox. Here we can then go into our development files. We can go to Windows apps. And here we can really easily locate to and find a RetroArch folder from our MacBook. So just like that, we have mapped the network drive on our Mac. It's super easy to do. It's actually a little bit easier than Windows. And from this point, then you can easily copy paste all of the previous settings that I have done on my previous video to actually set this up. If at any point you would like to disconnect from this item, you can simply click the disconnect button here or you can eject it here on the left and it will really easily be removed. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly and Joshua Davis. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button or any, any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.